Hey everybody, welcome to the video. The goal of this lab is to solve for the time constant of a first order circuit. And I'll model both an RL and an RC. All right, so let's get started in LT Spice. So I'm gonna open a new file here. And let me start with the source. So here I'm gonna add a voltage source. I'm just gonna type voltage, here we go. There's a voltage source. And I'm also gonna add a current source for the other. I'm just gonna type current. Okay, let me rotate this around. Rotate is this button here, or control R is my hotkey. Okay, let me space these out a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna add a resistor here and here. Okay, now, um, right up here, I'm gonna click wire. I'm gonna wire these. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about something. Let's, I'm just gonna make some values. Let's say this is a 100 ohm resistor, and this is also 100 ohm. And let's say this is a 10 volt source. Okay, are you convinced that for sure this 10 volt source in series with this 100 ohm resistor is the same as some current source in parallel with that same 100 ohm resistor, what should this current source be? If you did a source transformation, this I would be V over R, right? So 10 over 100, 0.1, right? As far as whatever goes here, like if I put a resistor here, right? As far as this resistor is concerned, it's the same thing having this 10 volt source with this 100 ohm resistor in series or this 0.1 amp source in parallel with this 100 ohm, right? Same thing, this is a source transformation. But for the purpose of this lab, we're gonna just have a capacitor and an inductor, right? And you, these could be, you could swap these, kind of same thing, right? So let me finish wiring these in. Okay, and for any simulation, it's important to have a ground. So I'm gonna put the ground here, wire that in. Okay, ready to simulate. So here's the simulation button. Um, let's see, I need to do one more thing. We're trying to find the natural response or even the step response, which means basically putting a switch here and f turning the switch on and off. But instead, I could just turn this source into a square wave. So I'm gonna right click, then advanced. This allows us to set up, you know, it could be a sine wave or a pulse. A pulse will allow us to make a square wave. So we can go from, let's say zero to 10 volts. And when do I want to start? Take the zero. How sharply should that square rise? Very sharply. Let's say it takes a microsecond, one U, one U, one microsecond to go up, one microsecond to go down. And let's say it's on for half a millisecond for a total period of one millisecond. Okay, I'll do the same for the current source. Advanced pulse, let's say we go from zero to one amp, one microsecond to rise, one microsecond to fall for 
half a millisecond on for a total period of one millisecond. Okay. Now let's, I didn't even assign values here. So whatever value you're trying to model, right? Just right click and I'm just going to make up some number one microfarad for the inductor mm, five millihenries. All right. So whatever value you're modeling, right? Just put those numbers in there. All right now let's run it. Uh, how long should the simulation run? Okay, so I clicked on run. We're running a transient analysis here. And let's see, so the, what did I use? One millisecond, right? So let's go for like two milliseconds. All right, go, there. Now, what are we trying to measure? The voltage across the capacitor and the current going through the inductor. Right, so if I put my cursor here, that's a voltage probe. So if I click here, right, that's the voltage across the capacitor. Or if I click here, that's the voltage from my source. Let me double click it. Right, so this is the voltage from the source. There's my square wave. This is the voltage from here to the ground, right? So right across the capacitor. And you see it discharging, right? This is the natural response, charging up. This is the step response. And we would like to know how long does it take for it to fall by one over E. While we're at it, let me go down here. For the inductor, see how this is a voltage probe? If you press Alt on the keyboard, it changes to a current probe, right? Voltage probe, current probe. So here's the current, let me double click this. Here's the current coming out of that source. There's the square wave and I'm gonna press Alt. There's the current going through the inductor. All right, so which one should we, let's go back, let's look at the voltage for the capacitor. Now we want the time constant. Let me just zoom in over here like this. Okay, so, um, Let's just focus only on the capacitor. Okay, so we wanna know how long it takes to go from up here down to one over E times whatever this, 10 volts, right? What is one over E? Get the calculator. E reciprocal, 0.368. Okay, so just remember 0.368 of 10 volts. Okay, so up here, let's click on this voltage, this number. Can you see my cursor? It brings up this cursor over here. And if I go back and click it again, it brings up another cursor. So I have two of these. So, right, so I'm going to move my mouse here and I'm going to drag this up to where the signal is here, 10 volts. And the other cursor... Um, hold on. Yeah. Oop, my little window show, popped off screen. Okay, here. This, you'll, you'll have this window. Okay, so this first cursor. Okay, so see this is these numbers right here. Bring it up here. And the second cursor we need it to be 0.368 of 10 volts. So we're looking for this number to be 3.68. Um, 3.68, there you go. Okay, now how long does it take to go from here to here? It went from 500 microseconds to 600 microseconds. So it took 99 microseconds. Is that what we're expecting? What's the time constant of an RC circuit? R times C, right? So R for this example right here is 100. C is one micro. So where'd my window go? Okay, so 100 times one micro is 100 micro, right? So we're expecting 
a time constant of 100 microseconds, and we measured 99 microseconds. Pretty good. Okay, now let's look at the inductor. So here's the, right, so this is the source, and here's the current going through the inductor. And, you know, it looked like this, but let me just zoom in right here. All right, so how long does it take to go from here to, I'm going to add the other cursor, 0.368. So look at this number here. Oops. Zoom in. Here to three, six, eight. All right, how long does that take? 50 microseconds. Is that what we're expecting? What is the time constant for an RL circuit? L over R, right? So five milli divided by 100 is 0 0.005 milli. I said too many zeros, 0 0.05 milli, which is 50 micro, exactly what we got, All right? Not so bad, right? Okay, give this a try. Thanks for watching the video. See you on the next one.